Hi everyone, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. So today I am really excited. I really like the way this looks turned out, the look turned out so far. I don't know how to wear because I forget things a lot. I really should write everything down. And it's nice to have these videos because I can go back and look, but sometimes I forget what video I do what in, to be fair. That's why I try to put it, tell you straight off the bat, or I will forget. Like, seriously, I will forget. So for foundation, I am wearing the Illusion Hyaluronic Skin Tint Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 by Hourglass in the color beige. This is a little bit dark on me, but it works and I don't think they make this anymore and I don't know why because for my skin it does not settle in my lines it goes on like I mean it just feels like moisturizer really on the skin but it gives more coverage than most skin tints at the same time if that makes any sense because that's what it's called the skin tint it's not called a foundation but it's just I love it for concealer I'm wearing the hourglass in sapia I, it's a little too light based with this foundation, but I think it balanced out well with everything else on my face. Thank goodness. I set with the Pat McGrath under eye setting powder and the white powder one. Are y'all ready for the pink? Like I so want that to try, but I don't think it's going to work for me because I have a more neutral peachy skin tone. So I don't think the pink's going to work, but I still want to give it a whirl. You know what I mean? For bronzer, blush, and highlighter I'm wearing Christian Dior and I pulled these out because I technically I forgot about them like my thoughts on them and I'm wearing the bronzer in warm bronze and what I will say about this is it is beautiful it looks very pretty it's effortless to use like you there's it it's it, you know foolproof for that matter you know even, even I can use it however it is hard to pick up because of the hard pan on it and I don't know if you can see the hard pan on it but like I really had to and for the price point I mean come on now the packaging is beautiful it's a, a matte like almost like a purse feel leather type of thing it's, it's very bougie looking but the product inside is just mm. Now the highlighter on the other hand, it has more, it's got the same kind of like design in a sense. It's, it's very like purse feeling, but it's got like a, it's more like a patent leather instead of a, that one. And the bronzer here is called 01 Nude Glow. Now I like this. I think this is worth the price. It is a very natural glow, very within it. You could build it up absolutely, but I, not my type of thing. Um, certain days that is, but generally speaking, like if you just want a glow from within, this is very pretty. It is pricey though. So there is that. And there's so much on the market that it's really up to you whether you like the packaging and stuff like that, if it's worth it to you. For blush, because you don't know, I am searching for a peachy blush. This is not it. This is orange. It truly is. And that's okay. It's called 004 Coral and it is the second infamous blush I suppose from this line and it is very pretty there's no denying that it looks great on the face my skin you know having all three of those products together is working wonderful I have no complaints but again price point wise is it worth it I don't know would I rebuy it I would rebuy the blush and the highlighter I would not rebuy the bronzer just so you know. Then for the eyeshadow palette, can you all guess what eyeshadow palette I uh, picked out today? I mean, I think this look goes with spring and the, what is it, the Pantone color, the peachy color of this year. And I think this palette really represents the Pantone color, to be honest, in a lot of different ways. But the palette that I'm talking about is the Naked Cyber Palette by Urban Decay. When I first got this, I will, I won't lie, it, it just, another naked palette, you know, like naked about what, but after playing with it and stuff, I secretly kind of like it. Now it does, it does go light and it goes to about a mid-tone color. There's not much depth to be fair. 
I suppose you could use these maybe shades to deepen up stuff, but the main thing is it's going to be a peachy look with whatever pop of color you want on the lid. And for spring, and it's easy and quick to use, as you'll see. So let's get started. The first shade we're going to go into is Virtual, which is this shade right here. I don't think this is still available, at least not at Sephora or Ulta. I didn't see it. But, and there's a tons of palettes out there that are, you know, but maybe you did buy this and forgot about it. Because on one hand, this can be a very unforgettable palette. But for spring, I think it's very perfect, to be honest with you. I think it's a perfect color story for spring, a perfect palette, whether you're traveling because it's in nice packaging, you know, you ain't going to have to worry about it, but it's completely up to you and your preferences. You know, you all know I love to go light to dark, like that's kind of my look but if I was to do an everyday look quick put together easy beautiful this palette would come in handy and it wouldn't take me long to achieve such a look either we're going to take that same shade virtual and run it under the lower lash line like technically you're kind of going to get the same look every time you create a look to be fair like it's always going to be a peachy with something different on the lid depending on how you want to go with it but sometimes that's nice you know sometimes it's nice to not have to really think about stuff what direction to go in the only decision you really have to make is like what pop what what metallic shade or shimmer shade do you want on your lid you know and for me on certain days that's nice and I've come to appreciate that more and more as A, I'm getting older, and B, I'm more in a hurry. And looking, you know, I'm looking for a job and stuff, so, like, this look took me no time to create. It's put together. You know, it looks like, okay, yeah, you spent time on your look for sure, but you're approachable, you're friendly, you know, all that is what this look is saying to me, personally. We're going to go into Bite, this very dark, the darkest shade. But it really is just up to you and your preferences, what you want in a palette and stuff. Again, I don't know if this is still available on the Urban Decay website. But for me, I like it. I think it's worth it. I would put... 35 to 40 dollars on it the price tag i know it's more full price like i pay more than that but that's where i would put it like if it was 35 to 40 dollars it's worth it so if it should be you know at a marshall's or something is kind of where i'm headed with it it would be worth it you know you won't be disappointed with what you spent your money on and that's kind of how i'm looking at things now if you can get it on sale, it's worth it. You know, some things are worth it, not on sale. You know, just full price. It's very far in between. But they are. But this one is definitely worth it at the $35 to $40 range. We're going to go into Cyberspace now, which is this one here. And this is a really pretty color because it looks peach. But then it's got like a hint of blue green aqua in a way I don't know it's just so pretty and again you have to like these kind of colors too on your lid some people they want a certain color and that's it you know they don't want it to be a shifty shade and that's cool and all but sometimes you might and I think that's why I like this palette because you get a little bit of both you get options and I like options but I like easy options not hard and I did not spray this or anything like that. So what you see is what you get. It definitely can be more intense the more you build it up and stuff. So keep that in mind. Or apply it with a finger, glitter glue, spray it, whatever you want to do. You can definitely get more oomph out of it. The decision's yours. Again, 
I just wanted a very simple soft look today. We're going to go into metadata, this one right here, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I use my Tarte Fake Awake for the waterline. And this is an this is an all-in-one palette for me. And again, you can if you choose, you can throw your bronzer in the look of this. I mean, I could have even put this blush technically in this look and have it all just come together technically. But I didn't. Alright, now we're going to use my favorite little brush, my Verefa 29, and we're going to pick up Bite, that darkest shade right here. It also, these Urban Decay, they come with a brush. I never use the brushes. I think I do have all the brushes, though, still attached to these palettes, to be fair, too. I know, I'm proud of myself for that one. But we're going to take that color and just line the top lash line and bottom lash line. Same with like Sigma. Sigma comes with brushes and I have them, I'm pretty sure, in all the palettes. I'm trying to think if any other, well, I mean, like Tom Ford and them, they come with them, but, but I, sometimes I keep them, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I actually use those ones. Believe it or not. If I'm in a rush. I'll use the like sponge tips because I think they just pick up the metallic shades really nicely sometimes sometimes not it depends on the situation but and then I'm gonna line the lower lash line but I really think this palette is perfect for the Pantone color and it's kind of making my green eyes pop. Also. These tones, I mean. I mean, I wasn't planning on that to happen, mind you, but it is there. Okay, and then we're just going to get back in with that peachy color, the virtual, the very first shade. Because I don't want to lose that color on the lower lash line, that like, really peachy. I've really been into peach for some reason, I don't know why, it's starting to, I'm starting to wonder. Peach and orange, it's like, what is going on here? Because usually I am very much like a pinky, purple kind of girl, personally. But this is what's happening right now. This is the mood I'm in. I'm going to use the YSL in brown to keep the look more subdued. Although if you wore a black, I think it would really make this just like pop. And of course, if you wear lashes. And we're going to ignore the hair because, well, <laughs> We're getting close to wash day. Close to wash day. I'm trying, you all. I'm determined to do this for a month's time. But it is killing me. And I will say, by the time... I don't know how other people feel. But when it comes time to, like, the day that I wash, day five, I'm, like, ready. Like, my mentally, physically ready. Whether my hair is or not, I am. Because I just feel like it's dirty. Whether it is or isn't. You know what I mean? But I start to get like that after day two anyway. So. Day two is where I'm just like, okay, it's time to wash my hair. And I don't know why. I guess it's just, it was, you know, burnt into me. You wash your hair every day, you know. shower, bathe, which I do that, but, you know, while you're in there, you wash your hair. But I will say I get it, and I do think that it is kind of like training my hair not to get oily. Like, before the next day, I'd have to wash it because it, the roots looked oily, right? And I will say that by doing it so far, I'm on week two. 
it's not getting, it's not looking oily on day two. You know what I mean? Day one or two. It's really day three that it starts to look, the roots are starting to look a little oily. So I guess in a way it has done that. But like I'm wanting to know what are the, if there's a benefits to not washing your hair. Like is it making it stronger or not? type of thing and I'm gonna apply the brown mascara on the lower lash line also very lightly and I actually like like the look of a very light uh, lash line or lower lashes because it makes it look like my lashes may actually be like a very light brown. It just looks natural, I guess, to me. To just barely touch it on. Where on the top lashes, it looks like I'm wearing mascara. But on the bottom, it does not. And I like that. And I do think this look looks really pretty with the brown mascara also. Like, no denying that. I'm not saying that. But this mascara is amazing itself too. So keep that in mind. The Lash Clash by YSL is my favorite mascara. Favorite. I still haven't tried the waterproof one. Everybody's raving about that one, though. And it is summer, so maybe it is a good time to try it now. I don't know. Let me know what you think. What did I just knock down? I couldn't tell you. Oh, lordy, lordy. I don't know. Uh, let's see a concealer. Alrighty. Put that back there. And this is the final look. The only thing I didn't talk about is the lips. And the lips, I pulled out an Urban Decay lip, and it's in Psych, is the name of it. And I'm not sure what this is. Now, that looks orange. I don't know if this is like a lip tint or some sort of like cream gloss. It feels wet going on. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see. But when you put it on, it feels very wet, but yet creamy, and it's almost like it's sinking into the lips. But what I will say is, is I like this color and everything, and as it wears, it does stain my lips, but in a very nice way. And then what I do once it wears and stuff, I'll take this with me for the rest of the day, and I'll add this on top to give it a really juicy look once this wears away. So, I kind of like both of these products. This I cannot find at um, Ulta or Sephora either. I could have overlooked it, but it could be on, um, it just says Vice on it. Like, it's not giving me anything other than that. Psych, and then it says, um... Stay Naked Lip Something. Artistry, maybe? I don't know what it says, to be honest. I can't read it. All I can... I can really read the psych. But that's it. So that's what it's on my lips. And I've went over the face. So let me know. Do you have this palette? Or were you like... No. It's another Na Urban Decay palette. Absolutely not. I will say that I like the formula in it, too. I do like the formula, so there is that also. But overall, I think the look turned out really good. I think it looks very pretty, put together, elegant. But let me know. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell, hit all. That way you're notified when I upload. I upload every day but Sunday, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay safe and stay healthy. Bye.